Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ and uh, YouTube. Uh, the Lord had given me a message about being comfortable uh, with Him, being comfortable with Jesus, and also it equals being lukewarm in the walk with the Lord. So the Lord gave me this message uh, a couple days ago. Uh, again, he gave me confirmation last night to go ahead and make this message. So, again, comfortable with Jesus equals lukewarmness. So we'll go to Matthew in chapter 3, verse 11 through 12. This is John the Baptist speaking. I, bat I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me will come one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not fit to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn, and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. So, okay, he says, he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Okay, so when we're baptized with the Holy Spirit, we're also baptized with the fire of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 28 and 29. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Our God is a consuming fire. Okay. Now we're going to go to uh, Psalms. Chapter 2, verse 11 and 12. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the Son, lest he be angry and you be destroyed in your way. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Okay, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Okay, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 through 13. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. And the last scriptures is in Revelation, chapter 3, verse 15 through 22. I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I am about to spit you out of my mouth. You say I am rich, I have acquired wealth, and do not need a thing. But you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in the fire, so you can become rich and white clothes to wear, so you can cover your shameful nakedness, and salve to put on your eyes, so you can see. Those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. So be earnest and repent. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him, and he with me. To him who overcomes, I will give the right to sit with me on my throne, just as I overcame and sat down with my father on his throne. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Okay? So, being comfortable with Jesus means you're being lukewarm. 
you're not on fire for the Lord. Uh, and this is uh, due to the fact that you're you're losing the fear of God in your life. So if you're you're starting to not fear God, and you become comfortable with Jesus, then that's when you're going to be uh, you're going to be cast out into outer darkness. If you do not repent and go back to Jesus, go back to seeking Jesus, and keep staying on fire for Jesus every day through the Holy Spirit. I pray you have a blessed day. I love you all in Jesus. And uh, glory to God. Amen.